Summer vacation is fading fast for more local students. On Thursday, August 1st, students in Allendale, Emanuel, Jefferson, Jenkins, and Washington in Saluda counties will go back to class. Then on Friday, August 2nd, students will go back to school in Lincoln County. School bells will be ringing in Columbia County next week. And joining me now to talk all about that is the Superintendent of Schools in Columbia County, Dr. Stephen Flint. Great to have you on the program. Well, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So it's a big school year ahead. You've had a lot of things going on over yeah. the summer, getting ready for the kids to come back. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about all that construction that's been going on. Sure. Well, we're super excited to have the students come back next Monday. Uh, a lot of exciting things happening this school year, but as you said, we've got a number of construction projects. In addition, we've been cleaning all the schools and they're absolutely beautiful and ready to return. Um, of high note is probably Westmont Elementary. It's uh, a brand new school. It's a replacement school for Westmont. Um, and also we're working on North Columbia Elementary, which is going to open next school year. Very I, similar schools. I think we have a little bit of video from Westmont that we shot this morning, which yeah. it, it looks as if it's ready from the outside. Are they tweaking and putting some finishing touches on on the inside? A lot of work still happening. This week we'll uh, continue those finishing touches. We're actually going to delay open house until Sunday afternoon. That way we can make sure to get all the punch list items done before the students come on Monday. I was actually able to see the teachers this morning at our support department complex extremely excited they're ready to do all the work that they need to do to get the students back in now a lot going on at Lakeside High as well right we have uh, two uh, of our high schools that are going through modernization that's part of our 10-year uh, building program um, Lakeside's well under construction so a lot of dirt's being moved out there new performing arts center being built on the left side of the school new student parking at the back a lot of other areas will start over the next couple of months and then Evans High School is going under construction right now. Uh, a lot of design work has been happening out there for the last year. Uh, as you know, it's an older school, so a lot of infrastructure has to be identified and, and moved. So we'll be working on both of those schools this school year, and I anticipate some challenges with traffic and parking and some areas like that. So work with us, and um, our staff are ready and going to do the best that we can, given that we're doing some very large-scale construction at those two schools. Well, that's progress, as they say. You can't have a, without a little bit of an inconvenience occasionally. Exactly. Uh, goals for the school year. I know yeah. that you all are a very progressive school district. You're always looking to the future. You're, you always are looking yeah. for new ways and ideas. Tell us about that. Well, thank you for asking that. We're well on our way through the strategic plan that was designed about two and a half, three years ago. Had a lot of community input on that. I think the community will continue to see those student achievement scores come in this year. Not only that, but the engagement of our students in the high school experience. Uh, we've had numbers of students increase in so many areas from our work study and internships to our advanced placement, um, to our IB program and our dual enrollment, which we have a number of classes happening on the school campus. So a lot of things are happening there. Um, you also will remember we opened the Discovery Center of the CSRA, a partnership with Richmond County really excited. We kicked it off last year, but it's going to go into full swing this year, and we're actually going to add high school to that because we have personal finance for every high school student now. So really excited about some of the, of the new changes this school year and years to come, really. It sounds wonderful. Wish we had a half hour to talk about all the sure. good things that are going on in Columbia County Schools, but we'll have to leave it there. Dr. Flint, thank you so much. Thank good you for having you me. Program.